All right, guys, so I am going to measure my uh, rod bearings now. I have all my rods torqued up, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get your measurements off of these things. Um, I'm going to go on American because that's what I know better, so I'm going to get right into it, and I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. So if you're trying to do this at home, you will probably have a better understanding about how to do this. So... This video is going to be pretty raw. I'm going to try not to edit it just so you can see the process. Yet again, I really haven't done this before. I've only built one other motor, so this is my first time at it too. So I got one, two, three, four, and five and six. I got all my rods, and I'm going to start with one, and we're going to go from there. So this is rod one. I got them all marked. I also have them marked there so that I know the way they come apart. I got all my bearings in, and I'm going to measure them. So yeah. So I got a T gauge, which is a, I believe it's a one to two inch one. So this is how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna squeeze this in and then I'm gonna put it in my main or in my uh, rod bearing. Try to get it as straight as possible. All right, up and down a little bit. And then you twist this end, you lock it, make sure it fits in there right. All right, so that's, the same size as this thing now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mic and I'm gonna go like this, right until I feel it stop. Okay. Okay, there's that. All right, it's just sitting in there now. So, see? All right, so I'm gonna read this thing off. It is, it is at 1.970, okay, so it's at 1.970, so I'm gonna write that down on this rod. 1.970, all right, so the first rod is done. All right, number two. Straight up and down as much as possible. Lock it up. Make sure it fits in there nice. All right. Let me go and take my mic and do the same thing. Okay, so that one's reading a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna do it again to make sure. It just feels a little loose. Just reset it. Okay, there's that. Okay. All right, let's see what this does now. All right, literally the exact same as the last one. There you go. See, so the way this mic works is it's one to two, it's at nine. Each one of those ticks is 25, and then the number is 20, so it's gonna be two ticks. So that's 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 20 is 70, so 9.70 for rod two, which is the same as the first one, which is ideal. So I'm gonna go 1.970 on that rod. And do the third one. I'm just gonna put this on the table and just make it flat. Try to get as level as possible. There it is, 9.70. Yep, 1.970. All right, fourth one. You can measure these in a different angle. I'm doing them all straight up and down right now. I'm probably gonna do them at an angle after off film just to be 100% sure, but 
All right, so this one, wiggle the little T gauge back and forth to make sure it's fully extended. All right. All right, there we go. All right. And then you only want to twist this mic right until you feel it stop. Okay, so that one's going 1.969. Or it's 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 at uh, the seventy, but it's just slightly below it. So I may have just gotten this thing not completely square. Yeah, that's definitely that definitely feels better. Right. Yep, there it stopped right at twenty, so that's seventy. All right, there's that one. Okay, and do some of the five, the connecting rod five. Right, there's that one, I felt a little tight. Watch this one read big. 1.9. It stopped right at 20. There you go. Boom. 1.970. Sweet. It couldn't be much better. They're all the same. Do you see that? Like every single one of these is reading out the same so far, which has got me feeling pretty good about this. I did this to my mains off camera, but because it was like way more tedious and like I had to like mess around with this in there and I did each side and they came out good. So. Yeah, I got the uh, OM bearings on my on my crank now. So here goes the last one. Watch this one be like all messed up and just mess my night up. All right. Yep. Boom. It's exactly the same. Like oh my god. Like these are meant. 1.970. All right. And that's how you measure your rod bearings with the uh, rod out of the car. So there's that. This is my dog, Nala. She's, she wants to sit out here with me. So hopefully that clarified anything to anybody that hasn't done this before. That was my first time doing it. It's pretty easy as long as you know how to read a mic. If you don't know how to read a mic, get a digital one. It'll do the same thing. So, yeah, easy. All right, guys. So I am going to measure my connecting rod journals now in my in my box. So I got the crank in and everything. So I'm gonna measure these up. I probably should have done this before I put it in, but oh well. You live and you learn. So I got my mic. Got my sharpie. And we're gonna get after this one, so. All right, we're gonna do the first one, which I'm trying to get this as straight as possible. I'm gonna go this way, I just feel better. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go right until this mic clicks. I'm trying to be as straight up and down as possible. And then, all right, it clicked. Whoops. All right. It clicked, and then I'm gonna hold it. And I'm gonna push it through this way and then pull it back to make sure it passes the widest part of the journal. So it's free now. Pull it back through, it pulls through nice. So that should be a pretty accurate measurement on this mic. So I am at 1.968. Yeah, you see how it's at 18. So that's gonna be one inch because this is the one to two inch mic. Plus the two ticks I see, which is 25 each, makes 50, plus 18 is 68. So it's gonna be 1.968 thousandths. So I'm gonna write that down right here. 1.968. And the Sharpie's dying. All right, so the first one's done. We'll do the second one now. Alright, 
that one's at 1.9682. 1 1.968. Damn, I can't even read that. Okay. It's 1.968, 1.968. I'm just going to try to remember this. Let me do the third one now. Which is good, because that means I got 2,000s clearance. Because 1. 1.698, or 1... Let me look at this again. Yeah, 1.968 minus 1.970 is 2,000. So that means I got a 2,000s clearance on these bearings, which I'll look at the specs later, but I'm pretty sure that, that sounds right. And uh, I'm going to do the third one. Just do the click. Just get this mic to sit there. Push it through. Pull it back. You should have a slight resistance. You pull this out. And boom. 1.968 again, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to do the fourth one. Alright, there's that. Pull right through. 1.968. Yeah, that's, that's literally meant. That one was actually reading a little bit high, so I'm going to try it again. Yeah, that feels more how it should with the drag. 1.968, yep. Oh my god, this crank is mint, guys. This crank is freaking mint. My crank is a straight two. And then I'm pretty sure two of these is an A and the rest of them are Bs or whatever the coding is. I can look at it later, but yeah. The fifth one, pull it through, pull it back. 1.968. I'm gonna do the sixth one. All right. Pull it through, pull it back. Yep, 1.968. Okay, so every single one of these are exactly the same, so that's pretty easy to remember. So, all right. Yeah, so that's how you measure the journals. And then in the previous clip, I showed you how to measure the bearings. So hopefully that helped you out. In the next video, I am going to grind all of the piston rings, which... In the next video... So me and my co-pilot got all the uh, raw journals mic'd up. Everything's the same. So in the next video, I am going to show you guys me... Uh, set the tolerances for the um, piston rings and then after that I'm going to put the Ferrera valve springs and all my valves back in the head and lap them in and then do the timing set and get this thing together so um, yeah I did this off camera but I figured you guys would want to see I did the NS300L inserts to fit these head studs to make them stronger you can see them all in there this took forever but I tapped all of these and then put the inserts in them. I also am running four dowel pins. I've never seen anybody do that, but I don't know. I figured I would try it. But uh, yeah, so yeah, this is where I'm at now. I did all the inserts except this one because somebody in the forums told me that this is known to crack if you go and drill it out. So we're going to leave that one stock, but all the other ones are inserted. So Hopefully we can hold the head down. I don't think it's going to lift. So, yeah, here's my block. Check out that cross hatching in there. Looks good. All right, Nala, you are ready to rip? Make some boosty noises? Make some turbo noises? Yeah, damn right you guys know she's ready. So, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.